chain is a single path, which helps us work out who eats whom in a habitat, in order to get the energy and materials required for nutrition. Ultimately, the sun is the initial source of energy for nearly all living things. The food chain begins with an organism that can utilize this energy directly to make its own food. The arrows in the food chain follow the flow of energy, so they always go from the food and point to the feeder. So for example, the grass uses energy from the sun, the zebra eats the grass, a lion then eats the zebra. Think of it as the food's journey into the mouth of the next organism. The chain always ends with the top predator, which is not preyed upon by other organisms, but will be consumed by decomposers after death. Typically, food chains involve around four steps. It is unusual for them to be longer because energy is lost between each step, and so the energy available for the next organism decreases. It is lost in a number of ways. It can be lost as heat during respiration, or it can be lost in waste materials such as feces. When you consider all the food chains in the habitat and join them all together to get a food web, a diagram of the interconnections between lots of organisms. Populations are interdependent on each other, and you will notice that some organisms have more than one predator, whilst others don't. This means that when a food web is altered, it has different effects on different populations. If one species goes extinct, it can affect the entire system with unpredictable results. So let's take the food web of a woodland environment as an example. This food web is the combination of 11 different food chains, so we can start to see how the species are interdependent on one another. So what happens if we remove one species from the food chain, perhaps if it went extinct? Well, to figure it out, we have to look at the whole food web. If we remove grasshoppers, then the spiders would have to eat more beetles, and so their population would decline. Maybe even go extinct too. This then has a knock-on effect on all the species that feed on the beetles and so on. However, some population sizes will increase. If there are less individuals eating the green plants, then their population will increase, which provides more food for the snails. So altering one link in the food web has big consequences for the whole system.